Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is fifth lecture of this dynamic programming series part two. And in this lecture, we are going to start digit DB, that is digit dynamic programming, of course. So the first question that arises: What is digit DB? So digit DB is nothing special but dynamic programming technique, which is used to solve dynamic programming problems, DB problems, which involves digits of numbers. So if I show you some of the examples of digit DB. Uh, one of the very basic example of digit TP is to find the digit sum of all the numbers in the given range L to R. And remember, L and R can be really, really large. Like L and R can be as large as 10 power 20, 10 power 1000, and so on. So we have to find the digit sum of all the numbers in this range. If I show you some other examples. These are some of the examples of dynamic programming on DP, basically digit DP. So this is the problem that I just discussed. Uh, you are given range A and B and you have to print the sum of all of the digits of numbers from A to B. As you can see in the comment section, you can see people talking about digit DP. Of course, this is a DP problem, digit DP problem. Now, second problem, if I show you, this is from educational round eight and this was a D problem rated 2200 so the problem basically asks you to you are given range a and b and remember a and b can be as large as 10 raised to the power of 2000 now you have to find all of the numbers in the range a to b such that uh, you are also given d with a and b such that all of those numbers are uh, d magic numbers so for example these all numbers are called 7 magic because digit 7 is appearing at odd positions while these numbers are not 7 magic so you are given a b and d where d is the digit you have to count the total number of uh, uh, total number of d magic numbers in the range a and b and since the number can be too large of course you would print it modulo tens power 9 plus 7 so these this was the second problem now the third problem i mean there are many just showing you some of the examples so the problem is chef and digits and you are given again a range l and r the range is here not very big it is only 10 power 18. now you have to count all of the numbers chef wants to count the in mm -hmm -hmm which he loves so the in the range l to r the numbers which he does not love are the numbers which are specified by this you are also given the occurrences of each digit which chef does not like so a0 is the occurrence of digit 0 a1 is the occurrence of digit 1 and so on so if a0 is 3 and the number is 1000 so in 1000 digit 0 is appearing exactly three times which is a0 so since 0 is appearing three times in 1000 so chef does not like this number so from l to r you have to count the total number of total count the total number of numbers which chef likes or loves so this is what we have to print so these are some of the examples of digit dp problems that we will be solving after that prerequisites for dp of course uh, you should have some experience with dynamic programming earlier because uh, there will be some concept that i will not be going into details because i am assuming and i will be assuming that you guys are aware with dp concepts the basic dp concepts like memoization and uh, and transitions of function I'm talking about recursion basically so and the second thing is that you should be comfortable with recursion because the problem that I am I have shown you there I'll be solving all of those problems using recursive DP not iterative one so I'm assuming that you are comfortable with recursion if not I will highly advise you to go and practice some of the recursion problems until you are okay and you understand recursion uh, recursive algorithm so of course it makes sense to use some problem to understand a certain concept since we are going to learn digit dp it makes sense or it, it is only fair to take some of the example uh, some example problem and discuss digit dp based on that problem so we'll be solving this problem as to understand digit dp so of course this is the easiest problem on digit dp out there 
of course you are given a range l and r and you have to print the total sum of digits in the number l to r right so if l and r are 9 and 15 the digit sum is going to be 30 so this is the problem that we will be discussing once we have understood how dp works of course we will be solving uh, more problems related to digit dp now what is a general approach to a dp problem usually the general approach uh, for example if we are talking about this problem that we just discussed so general approach to solve this problem will be to define a function get some you can call it whatever you want i'm going to call it get some function so we will define a get some function that would return digit sum of all number from 1 to n after doing this the answer of this query would simply become get sum of r minus get sum of l minus 1 so digit sum of 9 to 15 of all numbers from 9 to 15 can be calculated as get sum 15 minus get sum 8 so that you get digit sum of all the number from 9 to 15 so this usually is the general approach for dp problem now of course this is all about get sum function so since each query can be answered as the answer of each query is get some r minus get some l minus 1 right so the algorithm the runtime of algorithm will be the runtime of get some function so answer we are calculating using the get some function so whatever is the complexity of get some function is the complexity of each query right so it only it becomes essential for us to get uh, to define the function get answer efficiently to evaluate the function get answer effic uh, efficiently and that is the only thing that we will learn and we will solve using digit dp so since we are going to start digit dp so i'll be breaking down this uh, evaluation of get answer function in three different phases so in phase one we will define the get answer function which will be totally different than the get answer function that we are talking about so in phase one we will define get answer function that returns the sum of all numbers the digit sum of all the numbers i forget to write digit here or i forget to write digit here so get answer function uh, get answer n returns the sum uh, digit sum of all the numbers having uh, maximum n digits so get answer 3 will return the sum of all digits from numbers 1 to 999 where n is 9 which means three digit number so it will return the uh, digit sum of all number from 1 to triple nine if n is 5 of course it will return the digit sum of all number from 1 to 999999 right so first we will define this function get answer function then we'll modify get answer function or get sum function to return the number of uh, the digit sum of all numbers starting from 1 to n now n here is not the number of digit but the, the number itself so if i say if say i want digit sum from 1 to 15 i'll pass 15 here so we will modify get answer function which we have defined in phase one and we'll make get answer function return the digit sum of all number from 1 to n after that we'll use and this is exactly what we want the uh, get some function of phase 2 right after that we'll uh, the we'll see that the complexity of this function is actually uh, exponential so exponential in terms of number of digit of the numbers so what we would do of course exponential function or exponential algorithms are not not very likely uh, not very likely to pass time limit of course so we will modify the function get answer that we have defined in phase 2 to use more uh, memoization with it to enhance the complexity of get answer function and this will be the digit dp solution now the phase 1 and phase uh, of course phase 1 is required only when we are st uh, starting digit dp the next problems that we will solve we will simply skip phase 1 and only solve the problem using uh, phase 2 and phase 3 so this is how we will proceed to learn digit db now if uh, you might have uh, i don't think in this lecture we will have any doubt or if you have of course you can uh, ask in the comment section so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and next video will be phase one so this was all thank you guys and till the next video drops keep coding thank you